the distance between bangalore and chennai which is uh, 340 kilometers and currently it takes around six to seven hours to reach to chennai starting from bangalore but what if i say that no you can reach chennai starting from bangalore within two hours starting from march 2024 yes that's a little surprising but that's true the bangalore chennai expressway which will be connecting two major cities of south india that is bangalore and chennai it's set to be operational from March 2024 and it is going to cut the travel time to two hours and reduce the distance by 80 kilometers, 80. So this video is all about Chennai Bangalore Expressway where I will be discussing about the route map, cost, expected toll charges and many more stuffs related to Chennai Bangalore Expressway or Bangalore Chennai Expressway. So just stay tuned and please subscribe to the channel now to remain updated about the roads of India. Welcome to the channel Roading Fox. Let's get started. Chennai Bangalore Expressway is a four lane access control expressway passing through three different states of South India that is Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. It is one of the 36 greenfield expressways currently being constructed in India and is developed as a part of Bharat Mala Pariyojana. It will be a 262 km long stretch starting from Hoskote near Bangalore and ending at Sri Perumbadur in Chennai. The project is constructed at an estimated budget of Rs 18,000 crore and the existing 4 lane can be expanded to 8 lane if required in the future. Talking about some of the features of this Bangalore Chennai Expressway, so this will reduce the travel time from 6 hours to 2 hours. The distance between the two cities will be reduced by 80 kilometers. The speed limit of this particular expressway will be 120 kilometers per hour. There will be like 7 flyovers and 41 underpasses. The lane width which will be like 3.75 meter wide as opposed to 3.5 meter which is the width of existing Indian highways. This expressway is going to promote the Chennai Bangalore industrial corridor which will again boost the area's manufacturing sector. Also this is going to boost the real estate, the price of the property falling on this particular expressway route definitely it's going to spike and of course there will be many employment opportunities as well. So now let's discuss about the Chennai Bangalore Expressway route. So currently there are two main routes to reach to Chennai starting from Bangalore. One is via Hosur, Krishnagiri and Vellore where you need to take NH44 and NH48. The other route is via Kolar, Chittur where you will take NH75. So the preferred route among these two is via NH44 through Hosur and Krishnagiri which like goes and meets to Vellore and then we have Chennai. So this uh, particular stretch by NH44 which is around 340 kilometers and requires around 6 to 7 hours to cover this distance whereas the new expressway that is going to reduce this distance by 80 kilometers and it is going to take 2 hours. So this new Bangalore Chennai expressway passes through Hoskote, Malur, Bangarpet, Kolar, Goldfields, Bhenkata, Girikota, Palamaner and like it will be like crossing three different states and finally it will touch Chennai at Sri Perumbadur and this will be covering three states as I discussed. So this particular uh, stretch is going to reduce the distance by 80 kilometers. So here is the city and state wise segregation of the route map of Bangalore Chennai Expressway. As you know we have this strr satellite town ring road which will be connecting different satellite towns around bangalore so this um, satellite town ring road that will be also connecting to uh, chennai bangalore expressway so there is a clover leaf project which is also under construction near hoskote which will connect strr to chennai bangalore expressway coming from devanahalli so if you are not aware of strr or if you want to know more about this satellite town ring road you can watch this video so now let's discuss about the toll charges of bangalore 
Chennai Expressway. The toll charges for Chennai to Bangalore Expressway seems to be fair as compared to Bangalore Mysore Expressway. The proposed toll rate is rupees 0.65 per kilometer for lightweight vehicles like cars and jeeps. So I am expecting like you know once this expressway is operational so NHAI is definitely going to increase the toll price the thing that we witnessed in case of Bangalore um, Mysore expressway. So let's see once it's operational in March 2024 we'll check that out. Here is the full detail of the toll charges for all vehicle segments. So as you can see like you know now for the lightweight vehicles is 0.65 uh, rupees per kilometer. Whereas for large good vehicles and minibus, it's 1.05 rupees per kilometer. Similarly, for buses and trucks, rupees 2.20 per kilometer, and so on. So uh, now let's discuss about the Bangalore Chennai Expressway phases. So this particular expressway was built in three different phases um so the constructions are still going on like you know the final stage of construction is going on still so 71 kilometer of the total stretch uh will be completed as part of phase one 85 kilometer of the total stretch will be completed as part of phase two and the remaining 106 kilometer of the stretch will be completed as part of phase three so here are the details of all the phases so uh, you can pause the video and check them out if you are uh, really interested to know more about it. So now let's discuss about some of the advantages of this particular project. So definitely since the distance is going to decrease and the travel time that is that will be reduced to two hours. So this will be helpful for the commuters, whoever is commuting from Chennai to Bangalore or Bangalore to Chennai. The interstate connectivity between Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka that is going to be boosted. The economic activities across this manufacturing states so that is uh, again also going to be boosted. So there are many automobile companies which are already planning to set up their plants in Hoskote which in turn will definitely going to increase the employment. This will be effective in limiting fuel consumption, avoiding areas inflicted with high traffic and environmental pollution. And also this is going to boost the real estate of the property falling on the expressway route. So these are some of the advantages of this Chennai Bangalore expressway and I'm hoping like you know it gets ready operational as soon as possible. So this is from my side about Chennai Bangalore expressway. So once this is operational I'll definitely like you know love to drive on this expressway. I'll create a video uh, once this is operational I'll be traveling to Chennai. To just enjoy the driving on this particular stretch so for that time just stay tuned to the channel and subscribe to the channel and if you like the video do give a thumbs up thanks for watching guys bye take care